Welcome. In this video, we are going to go over a quick introduction to gases and what we call the gas laws. And so there are different ways in which you can measure matter that we brainstormed last week. Some of the things that we can measure are the volume, the temperature, and the pressure. And those are things we're we'll be looking at the relationship between those three values in terms of gases. So what's the relationship between the volume and the temperature and the pressure of a gas? And the Units we might use for volume, we we'll use milliliters or liters. For temperature, we'll use Celsius or Kelvin. And for pressure, pressure is a force exerted per area. And the units we'll use for those are kilopascals or atmospheres. And if you're wondering, what does that mean? Well, if you're thinking about what is the pressure at sea level, so basically the pressure of air around you right now, it's typically around one atmosphere, which is about 101 kilopascals. So just to kind of give you a sense of the scale there. Other units you might see for pressure, like if you're looking at bike tires or car tires would be like PSI. If you look at the weather report, they might give it in inches of mercury, if you look on a weather app. So these are some various things we're going to talk about with gases, some things that we can measure and discuss. So gases exert pressure. And we talked about in class, what are some pieces of evidence we have that gas exerts pressure? And people came up with some different ideas about that. One example that I was able to find an easy picture of was blowing up a balloon. So we know that when we blow air into a balloon, the balloon's going to expand. So it seems as though the air must be kind of pushing on the sides of the balloons. And someone in class mentioned that balloon could even pop, right? Which is evidence that that air can be pushing pretty hard on the balloon. And talk more about pressure. So pressure is the force per area. And in chemistry, we like to explain things at what we call a particle level. So if you could zoom in and look really closely at that sample of gas, we'd see it's made up of some particles bouncing around. And those particles are gonna bounce into the surface like imagine this is maybe the walls of your balloon here. Every time that gas particle bumps into the balloon wall, it's going to um, cause a force. So it's going to exert some pressure on that container there. So gases exert pressure by bouncing off surfaces. So that's what's going on at a particle level. There's pressure because there's particles bouncing around. And something to consider as we consider the relationship between temperature and pressure and volume is that the more collisions you have per area, the more pressure you will have. So if doing something causes the pressure to increase, it must be because there's more collisions happening. That's what's causing that pressure to increase. Or perhaps the collisions are happening with more force, like maybe they're bumping into each other harder than they were before. Here's some thinking about what gases look like. So gases are made of particles in constant random motion. So if you could zoom in and look at a sample of gas, you'd notice some of these particles that are bumping around. And what do we mean by random motion? The particles will move in straight lines and they'll only change direction when they hit each other or the walls of the container. So it's kind of fun in this visual to maybe pick a molecule, a particle and track it and you kind of follow where it's going. And you'll see it might change direction, it might change speed. Another interesting thing to notice is that the particles in the sample are not all moving at the same speed. So we said that temperature is a measure of the speed. So temperature is proportional to the speed at which they are moving. Um, but they're not all moving at the same speed. Some are moving a little bit faster, some are moving a little bit slower. So it turns out temperature is actually a measure of the average speed at which these particles are moving. All right, and then we get into our experimental question between pressure and volume. So that's it. That's a little bit of introduction to the idea of pressure, and we'll do more with gases this week.